Hey guys, it's Hunter. Here we are again with this, this, fr frickin' this, uh, once again with, uh, YouTube state of affairs and everything that's going on. Um, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be doing ba the basic rundown of everything that, um, that, that, uh, they, they've been doing, and then I'm gonna argue for a bit, and I'm gonna explain what Headhunter Productions is going to do about it. Actually, I'm probably gonna explain what we as Headhunter Productions are gonna do about it right after I explain, uh, exactly, uh, what YouTube is doing. So, you've seen it everywhere, uh, YouTube has changed its video monetization criteria. Now, if you don't know what monetization is, it's your ability to make money off of videos. Um, it's, uh, basically, um, ads play alongside the video. If you have your ad block turned off, you'll know what that is. Um, the ad, the, the ad will be placed alongside the video. There's a little banner that comes up down below, and then a skippable video. Our ads are n are always skippable. That's our policy. Unless it's those really short six second ads. I really like those, by the way, YouTube. Keep those up. Unless it's like those six second ads, you can skip pretty much all of them. Um, well, they changed their monetization criteria and, uh, that, and you have to meet some minimum requirements in order to monetize your videos. Now, before, uh, it, uh, it, 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 was, it was simple. It has to be you created the content or have permission to use it commercially. All our stuff falls under fair use, so that's fine. You're able to provide documentation providing your own commercial rights to all audio and video content. Again, fair use cover that, covers that. And it complies with YouTube's terms of service and community guidelines. And that's... Those are kind of, kind of like, uh, like no explicit stuff, NSFW stuff, no porn or stuff like that. Uh, cause they'll hunt you down for that. I see it every now and then. I based my college thesis on pornography and you'd be surprised at how well it did actually, but not important right now. But they've added a new one. Your content must be advertiser friendly. Now, let me get into that real quick, because they had to make a whole new page for it. So, uh, adver so here's what they say. Advertiser-friendly content is content that's appropriate for all audiences. It has little to no inappropriate or mature content in the video stream, thumbnail, or metadata, such as the video title. If the video does contain inappropriate content, the context is usually newsworthy or comedic, and the creator's intent to in is to inform or entertain, not offend or shock. Now... They give some examples as to what um, they consider not advertiser-friendly. Uh, it includes, but is not limited to, sexually suggestive content, including partial nudity or sexual humor, violence, including display of serious injury and events related to violent extremism, inappropriate language, including harassment, profanity, and vulgar language, promotion of drugs and regulated substances, including selling, use, and abuse of such items, or controversial or, or sensitive subjects and events, including subjects related to war, political conflicts, natural disasters, and tragedy, even if graphic imagery is not shown. So, um... Vi violence? Okay. That's that's our Matt's mind right there. That's our Howard's mind right there. Uh, inappropriate language. Bam. That's all our videos. Uh, promotion of drugs. If you want to get super duper technical, yeah, Matt's mind and Howard's minds, but not. Really, those don't exist and are in a virtual world. So, not really. Even then, I don't think Matt has used drugs even once, except Stimpaks and one thing of medics. Um, controversial or sensitive, or sensitive subjects and events, such as political conflicts? Whew! 
Okay. Uh, that's the entire presidential election. Uh, natural, natural disasters and tragedies. By the way, all of that, that last word, controversial, uh, or sensitive subjects and events, that's even if graphic imagery isn't shown. You can't talk about it. Sorry. Took a drink. Um, sexually suggestive content, I'm probably okay with that. Because, like, sexual humor, I've never been a big fan of it. Like, like, that's pretty much the only thing on here that I agree with. It's that and the promotion of drugs thing. That and the promotion of drugs thing. Those are two things that shouldn't be on YouTube. Let's keep it clean, people. Or clean to this certain point. Anyway. But the violence parts, including display of serious injury. Oh. Matt's main weapon is a sawed-off shotgun that makes people explode. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, that inappropriate language thing. Hunter swears like a sailor. Matt swears like a sa sailor. It sucks, but I still played it. We swear like a sailor. Howard's mind, he swears like a sailor. Pretty much everything we have is swearing profusely. <laughs> okay, this is happening. Yeah, th no, this is actually happening. Link down below where you can find this list of uh, what they can of their advertiser friendly content guidelines. So, uh, you're, so, uh, what are, what is Headhunter Productions going to do about this? Well, I'll tell you what Headhunter Productions is going to do in response to this. Headhunter Productions is going to do nothing. Headhunter Productions is going to change nothing. We are changing nothing. Because... First of all, there's a couple things as to reason as to why we're doing nothing, and to, as to why we're changing nothing. Um, I recently watched Lyle McDouchebag talk about this. Uh, his video is down below as well. He talks about this too, um, and he's he came up with probably my new favorite analogy of uh, being a YouTuber which is, it's the midway point between a dead-end job and an abusive relationship. Like, av like uh, with uh, being a content creator, there really is nowhere else that you could go, but you have this mindset that uh, where you have just the desire to create and entertain in in uh, in front of a large audience but we're we're so fixated on that that we're willing to put up with the abuse and hatred that YouTube uh, puts towards its creators and that's it, it's a terrible thing. It sounds like a terrible thing, I know. But that's how it is, actually. That's actually how it is. Now, they've been getting better about this. Believe it or not, they have been getting better. Now, if your video gets claimed, your money is to go into a side account until the claim is resolved. And that's a fantastic idea. We, we love that. Now, if you do get a copyright strike, you're not limit, your, your video uh, upload limit isn't uh, like capped at 15 minutes, and you can still submit appeals. And the appeal uh, cap has been raised from three to infinite. So you can send out as many appeals as you need to. So things are going pretty okay over on the copyright side of things. And 
it was really looking like things were starting to get better. That was earlier this year. Now, YouTube, they just came out with this. They just came out with this, and that's the abusive relationship side of things. They're like, yeah, we'll throw you a bone every now and then, but we're still going to beat you every night with a stick before we before we uh, go to bed and make sweet love to one another. And yes, that's breaking rule number one of your advertiser-friendly content guidelines. Actually, let me check. Nope, sexual humor. Sexual humor. That's... that. that but with that alone, it would mean that we can't... We, we can't upload this video. Or, well, no, it's not that we can't upload it. We just can't monetize it. And that basically means we can't make money off of it. But this whole thing, it's not um, a takedown video spree. It's um, a, just a mass shut off of people's monetization. Um, it's just these videos are no longer uh, eligible for monetization. It's not that... Um, that, uh, you're, it's not that, uh, it's been claimed or anything. It's that you just can't monetize it. They won't let you. And I'm not sure if there is a way to fight this either, because believe it or not, we have, we have completely dodged this somehow. Completely dodged this, despite the fact that YouTube already has an automated system in place that mass demonetized thousands upon thousands of videos uh, over the past few days. Now, I'm I'm betting to I'm betting that the reason that we have not been hit even in the slightest on either of our channels is because they have yet to start manually uh, going after videos. And when they do start manually going after videos, I'd reckon we have at least a couple years because there are thousands upon thousands of videos going up on YouTube every hour. So we probably have some time. Um, and hopefully by the time they like even come close to us, they'll have realized this that there's been a huge mistake here because... The problem with these uh, guidelines is that they're so vague and so broadly worded that it just affects everyone. Now, I have a, I have a reasonably, um, I have a reasonably fair uh, prediction as to why they're doing this. Uh, it's to get rid of your bullying channels, like your Keemstar. Or, um, or other channels like that. They're going after those people because they don't want that because there have been tens upon thousands of complaints or their uh, cringe channels and stuff like that. If you were uh, Pepsi, would you want your brand tied to someone talking real close up to their microphone and, like, Put, barely putting on a show at all and just going on and on for half an hour about how someone on the video that he's watching is the most cringy thing in the universe and then all of you go over to his uh, like the actual video and you just send him a bunch of hate and then he realizes what happened when one of his actual small devoted when one of the people in his small actually devoted fan bases prop hats off to you guys by the way the small devoted fan bases out there love you guys keep doing what you're doing he um like like someone who keeps their ear to the ground informs them that, oh no uh, it was this guy who was sending uh, the cringe uh who, who put you up on a cringe channel and then he goes to complain, and are you starting to see the pattern emerging here? You starting to see where this is going? This happens multiple times, and the small devoted fan bases, when 
when uh, when the when the owner of the video goes to complain, sometimes he puts up his own video and says, "Hey, this is happening," and then those people get on board with the complaining, and it's a great big mess. The inboxes are flooded with complaints, and they go to YouTube somehow. They find a way to get in touch with YouTube and be like, hey, this is happening. And they manage to get enough in their inboxes to the point where YouTube has to do something. And that's this. This is their response to all the bullying videos. And if that's only what they're going after, that's fine. I'm completely fine with that. But... You remember when we did the, uh, It Sucks But I Still Played Five Nights at Freddy's video? Yeah, you remember. Try to imagine that, but aimed at one person, um, who doesn't even deserve it. Okay, it's like, oh, he's got a funny voice, yeah, get over it. Okay, I put up with enough of this immaturity in high school. And I think that's another good analogy. YouTube is like a high school where there's a bunch of people that rule the roost and everyone else is picked on and abused. Um, some people deserve it. Prank videos. Cannot stand them. Honestly think that they should be stricken from the internet. Um, there's specific unboxing videos that need to go. Um, the Overwatch un unboxing videos. Uh, I think we could do without those people. Just saying. I'm just saying. I don't think we need that. Um, or, uh, well, some, some people are actually able to make that entertaining. Um, React videos. Often considered the cancer of the internet. This is pretty much what they're what the what this is aimed at. But these rules are worded so broadingly and just it just seems like more of a blanket blanket statement that you're just this this would account for ninety percent of the videos on YouTube. And I really don't think that YouTube intended uh, to aim uh, at 90% of the videos on their site. Because, they're, they're, like, again, there are certain rules on here that uh, I completely agree with. We don't need to pre be promoting drugs on uh, this site. Or uh, sexually suggestive content, we don't really need that. You could go to Pornhub and get plenty of that. But... I think the main issue here is that YouTube just did this. There was no warning. There was nothing prompting it. They just came out with this new system. They just flipped the switch and they just didn't say anything. They up they updated their guidelines and they waited until everyone else figured out what was going on. I haven't seen a single announcement for it and I haven't seen anything for it. I've seen people talking about it. That's about it. But, but, but the fact that people are talking about it, that's fantastic. This is another one of those things where we need to get the word out on this. Because if this is going to be uh, what's going on, then I'm sorry if we have to Nick Jr.ify um, the internet. Because at this point... Um, with these guidelines in place, that's what's going to end up happening. The internet is going to hell in a handbasket, and thankfully we have SpaceX to contribute to that fund. Thanks for blowing up the Facebook satellite, by the way. There are countless people that make their living off of YouTube, and when considering the content creator's who monetize their content uh, when they make their business decisions, we are the last people that they are concerned with. And that's why, like I said in my last YouTube State of Affairs video, um, 
there needs to be some form of competition. Just any alternative to know, to let people know that, yeah, we could leave. We could leave and go to another service that has an even better monetization system. Competition is good for a developing market, and the YouTube is like the Wild West right now. Because it's, like, in terms of innovation, it's brand new. Uh, people don't know what's happening. Uh, there's, a, there, there's a lot of experimentation going on, and a lot of it's not really working. But another thing that I have to blame for this particular... Um, turn of events are the social justice warriors that are out there um, because people are a keystroke away like any anyone nowadays is a keystroke away from becoming a social justice warrior and p p with the internet just gives them the tools to have this massive voice that they didn't have before and it's the Anita Sarkeesians and all those people out there that I have to blame for this because the whole uh, fight for uh, equal rights and and all that stuff it's turning into censorship which is what this is actually if they do intend to follow through with all of these rules and pursue them aggressively that's what it's turning into it's turning into censorship people are getting offended by things that we don't normally get offended by uh, I have a number of movies that I enjoyed as a kid, but people look at them nowadays and say that they're offensive. And quite frankly, I grew up at a different time, and the current generation is being coddled into a special snowflake syndrome, and that's it's not good for our kids, okay? Take a lesson from my book. I fell down the stairs when I was three, split my head open when I was four, uh, slammed into a glass door and went into the, went to the emergency room when I was five. Let's see, how many other injuries were there? I'll be right back. All right, I just asked someone about it. it. It was just those three. And I turned out just fine. And unfortunately, they're letting their children onto the internet at a younger age, and people are getting offended. And the internet just gives people this great big tool that allows them to just do whatever they want. And unfortunately, that's not supposed to be the case. I'd go into how the rating system is supposed to help people with video games and everything, but you won't listen. Video games are the cop-out for the National Rifle Association anyway, so who's going to listen to us? But either way, this, this whole new policy isn't fair, okay? This isn't fair. Like, if you wanted to do something like handle the complaints or whatnot, you could have, you could have, A, you could have worded it better, B, you could have made a less draconian policy and, like, basically not censor the internet, or there's, there's just a whole bunch of things you could have done. But again, Headhunter Productions is going to be doing nothing in response to these policy changes. Because, first of all, we haven't been hit at all, so I, I, for the time being, I'm going to assume it's not aimed at us. If it is, if, and if we do get hit with something, there will be a follow-up video, even if it's one video, and you guys will be the first to know. Second, we... What was, it? What was the second one? Oh, yeah. Second, if we give in to these rules, then we're just contributing to being a part of the problem, and I am of the firm belief that we shouldn't be a part of the problem I could... Why am I so tempted to make a Donald Trump jab? I don't know. But, yeah. I believe that if we go along with this, we're just contributing to a part of the problem. Uh, if anything, if push comes to shove, Head Hunter Productions is going, to, is going to start fighting it. Much like we jumped on with uh, hashtag WTFU, and that actually got us somewhere. And if we... If we have to do something like that again, I 
firmly believe that we that uh, we could do it if enough content creators out there um, like all start jumping on the same bandwagon and uh, just start waving the banner. We're not gonna take it. And yeah, there needs to be some form of competition with YouTube because right now content creators have nowhere to go and YouTube knows that. At this point, we're just begging for anything, even Facebook, for, to come up with some new video streaming service. But it's not happening. There needs to be some sort of competition so that YouTube knows that uh, content creators have somewhere else to go and, oh, hey, we should probably make our system better. But right now, that's not the case. And honestly, it scares me a little bit. So... That's it for now, guys. Again, if uh, there are any changes to this, I will do a follow-up video. If the whole thing resolves itself, I'm not going to do a follow-up video. But if things get worse, yeah, I'll, I'll do a follow-up video. But until then, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, sorry if this is another one. I, did, I didn't want to do another one of these, but here we are.